Hello, welcome to Mechanical Engineering. In this video, we are going to discuss 5 recent trends in Mechanical Engineering. This video is for the students of Mechanical Engineering so that they can upgrade themselves with the recent trends during their engineering. So the very first trend that is 3D printing. This is also known as additive manufacturing in which the component is built by adding the material layer by layer. So for this technology, an engineer should have a knowledge of CAD software because first of all you have to model the component with the help of CAD software. After modeling the component, then you have to convert that file into STL format because in additive manufacturing, we are building the component by adding the material layer by layer and this STL format allows the design object to be sliced into ultra thin layers. Okay, so after slicing the model into ultra thin layers, then we have to transfer that file to the 3D printers. Then that 3D printer will, uh, will deposit the material according to the layers. Okay, so that is known as additive manufacturing. The additive manufacturing or 3D printing have numerous, numerous applications like the biomedical applications like prosthetic limb, then the artwork for the blind peoples. Again, you can uh, you can print the edible objects with the help of 3D printer. So here in the first image, you can see uh, an example of 3D printer. This is very simplest form of a 3D printer in which the material is used in form of filament. That filament uh, that filament is then heated and then deposited so as to get uh, the object like this. And in second image, you can see the 3d printed parts so uh, uh, you can you can uh, deposit uh, the component with the uh, with the 3d printing that uh, you can see over here the next trend that is nanotechnology so the nanotechnology refers to the study and use of structure that are between 1 nanometer and 100 nanometer in size uh, the mechanical engineers have, uh, should have a knowledge of nanotechnology because nowadays the mechanical engineers are using nanotechnology in various fields of mechanical engineering. Like they are using nanoparticles in a, uh, in a fuel of engine so as to improve its, uh, uh, its efficiency. Again, they are using nanofluid in, in a field of heat exchanger so as to improve its efficiency. Then uh, they are using nanofluid in a cutting oil during machining so as to improve its lubrication and its heat transfer capacity. So the mechanical engineer should have a knowledge of nanotechnology and they can, they can use it in various applications of mechanical engineering. The next trend that is Internet of Things. So here a thing in IoT can be a person, it can be an animal or it can be an object. Right. So inter of, Internet of Thing is nothing but a system of interrelated machines. Okay. And that machine is able to transfer the data over the network or over the cloud without uh, human to human interaction or, uh, or without human to computer interaction. So you can monitor its health also. So nowadays interno Internet of Thing is used in uh, is used for maintenance purpose of the machine. So machine will transfer its data over the cloud and based on that data, you can take the corrective action. That is known as Internet of Thing. So uh, uh, it, it again has numerous applications like a human with heart monitor implant, right? So uh, that implant will, will give the data to the do doctor directly and then doctor will monitor the implant placed in your heart. Then animal with a biochip transponder or the automobile which has a built-in sensor to alert the driver of any change to the vehicle such as low tire pressure. So there will be a sensor inside the tire and that sensor will sense the pressure inside the tire and again it will, uh, it will give feedback to the driver. So this is, these are nothing but some applications of your IoT. So here you can see the applications of IoT, like IoT in agriculture. So you can place the sensor in a soil uh, so as to monitor the health of a soil. 
so that sensor will will collect the data from the soil and it will transfer the data over the cloud and the scientist can study uh, study the soil and uh, can give feedback to the farmer and accordingly farmer farmer will take the decision then the embedded systems like uh, uh, you can use iot in your washing machines then the air conditioners so before reaching to the home your air conditioner air conditioner will start then in smart retails like in shopping malls then wireless connections then smart home and cities so in cities you can use the smart lighting so uh, if the person is there then your uh, your lighting system will start otherwise it will off then uh, you can use it in vehicles uh, at your home and then pet monitoring and controlling so these are some applications of iot and uh, the mechanical engineer should have a knowledge of internet of things so that he can monitor it uh, monitor the health of uh, his machines or health of entire plant with the help of this le- latest trend next application that is electric vehicle so the mechanical engineer have spent many decades in carefully developing numerous 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 components for the car to improve its performance quality and most importantly safety right uh, nowadays the people are shifting from the ic powered uh, vehicle to the battery powered vehicle so the mechanical engineer should have the knowledge of this uh, electric vehicle so here you can see an example of electric vehicle here the ic engine is replaced with the the various motors whereas uh, your uh, fuel tank will get replaced with what it will be replaced with the battery pack and the entire vehicle will run uh, run uh, from a lithium powered battery right so you should have a knowledge of these batteries then the transmission system because here we are using various motors and th- those motors are nothing but the engine for this electric vehicle so you should have a knowledge of the lithium powered battery and the transmission system because the rest of the things will be same right the next trend that is cad cam cad means computer aided design and cam means computer aided manufacturing so being a mechanical engineer you should have a thorough knowledge of any one uh, design software there are various design softwares like autocad proe catia ansys so you should have a knowledge of this software so that you can build the object with the help of this software so computer aided design is a use of computers to aid in creation modification analysis and optimization of a design so with the help of this cad software you can create your own design you can modify the existing design you can carry out the analysis purpose that means whether uh, the component that you have designed Uh, is able to sustain the forces then you can optimize the design then the cad software is used to increase the productivity of a designer uh, improves the quality of a design improves communication through documentation and it creates a database for the manufacturing purpose <coughs> then cam cam is known as computer aided manufacturing so uh, most of the jobs in mechanical engineering are at shop floor and at shop floor you you could find a uh, various machines the various advanced machines like cnc machine is there so uh, a cnc machine is a machine which can be able uh, able to control with the help of a computer and with the help of program so you should have a knowledge of programming of cnc machine so computer aided manufacturing is a use of software to control the machine tools and related one in the manufacturing of work pieces cam may also refer to the use of computer to assist in all the operations of a manufacturing plant including planning management transportation and storage so there are various softwares like uh, erp mis so with this software you can control all the activities at a shop floor its primary purpose is to create a faster production process and components and tooling with more precise dimension and material consistency which in some cases use only the required amount of raw material thus minimizing the waste while simultaneously reducing the energy consumption so these are some recent trends in mechanical engineering so being mechanical engineer you should know these 
uh, trends and you should have a knowledge of these trends also so as to get a better job at a right place thank you so much for watching my video thank you